Hi, welcome to another session of Power Solves online training for using this as package one distribution system loss segregator or most commonly known as the DSL segregator. For this session, we would like to show you a demonstration on how to use the DSL segregator module. So first, you need to open the main interface for this as package one and then select the button on the left side that corresponds to the DSL segregator. So we can see here that the program basically performs load flow of the system data and segregates the total system loss into technical, non-technical, and administrative losses. Now we have two options on segregating our data. First, we can segregate from the database or we can segregate from Excel file. So for segregation from database, we need to have a filled up database with the corresponding template inside the database. But for the second option, we just need to have an Excel file in ERC template format as our input. So for this demonstration, we will be limiting our demo with an ERC template input. So just press this button. To open the main interface of the DSL segregator. So this is our main interface for DSL segregator. So we can see that there are so many input here and values that we can modify for each of our simulation. On the leftmost part, we have the simulation parameters. First, we have the power mismatch. Uh, by default, it's set on one exponent minus five. You can change that if you want later on. We have the base KVA that it uses to convert our network into per unit values. We have the maximum iteration for each simulation. By default, it's set on 50. We also have the output uh, files options. So we have the voltage profile, we have the line currents, the DT summary results and the DSL segregation summary. So by default, this is the only one that is checked, but you may opt to check all of them if you want to reduce all of these results during your simulation. Again, we have the output directory, which is set on this folder but if you want to change it you can do that before the simulation we also have a display of the power mismatch at peak r so this is just a visual representation of the changes in the power mismatch during our peak r for the corresponding data this is for the 24 hour simulation we also have below the single line diagram this a basic uh, display of the connection of the buses of that corresponding input file. So right now it is disabled because we have not yet simulated any data yet. On the right side we have the run options. We have an option for single run and we have an option for bulk run. So for single run we can simulate one data at a time. Now for bulk run, if you want to run a set of data um, consecutively, you can choose that. We have status page to show us the status of the simulation. We have below the view bulk run list that uh, basically is the display of the list of simulation for bulk run. We have the save log, if you want to save the status of the simulation. If you want to clear the log, just press this button. Again, we have the progress bar to show us the status of our simulation. Now, on the rightmost, we have four buttons. The execute loss segregation button to start the simulation. Second, we have the model input data, which we don't normally use because the modeling is already included in the segregation part. 
we have the help button as usual and we have the exit button now for this demonstration we will just be running a single feeder data so we just want to select the single run option and all you need to do is just to click the execute loss segregation button to show us the input data form so this is the input data form for a single run of the SL segregator so first again we need to have an input file in ERC template format we need to make sure this in the right template format we can see our other fields that's like just like feeder name primary line voltage in kv billing period code and number of billing days all of these four fields will be automatically filled up as we select an input file so we can show that by browsing and then selecting again the test data that we've been running before Again, it's the same location. So we select the uh, test underscore data. Open it. So you can see the program automatically fills up the feeder name, the primary line voltage, the billing period code, and the number of billing days. All of this came from the input data. Now we also have here other data input so we have the total input power in kilowatt hour for the corresponding input data maybe basically that is the uh, feeder meter input we have the administrative loss if any for this corresponding feeder and we have the metering loss in kilowatt hour the total metering loss for that feeder now lastly we have the simulation options below so by default we can see that the run network data modeling is checked it's indicated it specifies that we need to run the data modeling for the first time simulation we also have the source bus voltage so this is basically the per unit voltage on the first bus in the primary line data we also have the load model for this feeder so we have the percent pq and we have the percent z well percent pq corresponds to constant power loads and percent z corresponds to constant impedance loads so if you have an idea of the mix of the loads in this uh, input data you can change the values of this by default it's set on 100% pq and 0% z but actually you can change those values if you have the load study for this feeder so you can have it 0% pq and 100% z or you can even make it 80% z and 20% pq but for our demonstration we'll be having it on a 100% PQ and 0% Z so we'll not be filling up the other data yet uh, first but for now so just press the OK button and then the simulation will proceed so it says it is completed so the program already simulated the program the data and we produced the corresponding results for that data so as we scroll up the status page we, we can see that it read and modeled the data and then it uh, performed load flow simulation at r1 in, with only three iterations and it calculated the losses we also have the second R, the load flow simulation at R2, and so on and so forth until our that's until hour 24.
So we can also see some results here. Uh, in this status page, we have total consumed load. We have the simulation summary for 24 hours. But all of this data we will be showing later on in another session uh, for the DSL results. But this basically shows you an idea, a glimpse of the simulation results for this feeder data. So we have an idea of a total system dose for this feeder. Again, this is based on an input. So we have here the printing of the DT summary. Because since you checked it, and we have the DT voltage profile since we selected that output. And we have the per DT line current since we again checked that output so basically that's how you run and how you use the DSL segregator so again this is a quick demonstration of how to use the program and I hope it helps you on how to simulate using this program thank you very much